welcome to everybody and welcome uh, from the high vision office in in madrid in a in a rainy in a rainy day in the, the yeah that's not only only sunny madrid so welcome to this next exercise is the webinar when we will go around how impactful are the open source communities right now and and in particular in our, in our industry i will and then we will check um Awesome use case uh, with Collabora with uh, with our guest today that they has uh, developed with SK Telecom. You know, it's a use case with uh, video drones, uh, uh, robots, 5G. So it's like a safety use case or something like that, but it's possible thanks to, to SRT. And well, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Suso Carrillo. I'm running the, the SRT Alliance for High Vision. And, uh, the mission of this SFT Tuesday's webinar is uh, to introduce the important SFT Alliance contributors, also describe live, uh, live video solutions, because right now creativity is important. It's something that allows SFT. And for sure, this, uh, discuss integration and application of, of SFT and foster the community and trying to, to boost uh, co-marketing and co-business uh, activities uh, and partnerships within the within the members. My mail is director at sftalliance.org, so please don't hesitate to send me an email to anything you any question you want to, to ask me. Well, the, the SFT Alliance is in, in super good shape. Indeed, we are right now more than 450 members. We continue growing. Uh, I expect, uh, to be honest, uh, to reach the 500th or be near the 500th at the end of the year. And, and this is a, a good news. And also good news is the difference between, between companies. This is not just about uh, traditional broadcasting companies. It's about a lot of wide angle of different streaming companies that, that needs a, a real and actually a, a, a solution. And that's exactly what the what SRT, SRT provides. The new in the in the SFT Alliance is, is this. What's the difference between being SFT ready and being SFT plug? Well, SFT ready is a company that has successfully deployed SFT into any of their products or, or systems. And SFT plug, it's an attack that we apply to that those companies that has successfully checked the interoperability of their products with the rest of, well, not the rest of the members, but with other SFT Alliance members. So to get this status, this SFT plug status, you need to, to check that interoperability in the next SFT virtual plug list that it's going to, to happen December 8, 9, and 10. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to make uh, an, an announcement and get more, in, more info about this in, a, in the upcoming days. So, if, but in the meantime, if there is anything you need, you want to know, just send me an email at director at sftalliance.org. And these are the next two webinars. We have a lot of upcoming webinars, not just these two. So, so stay tuned. Um, Easy Life, it's a nice company. It's a live production SaaS, a kind of all-in-one cloud live streaming streaming studio and we're going to go over fan wall that it's um, such a feature to capture live emotions on the, um, from the audience both at the venue and home and share that emotions to, to show them on screens and the great thing is that they are getting a super lowest latency because we are talking in most of the cases of a run trip with the workflow that it's that's it's not easy and the emotions must be, you know, so close to, to, to the action. So they are getting a latency of just 150 milliseconds, which is absolutely awesome. And then November 24th, Primestein is a well-known company based in, in US. They are focusing media asset managers, media, sorry, media asset management from capture to distribution. These, these guys get a, a recognition from NAB 2020. It is the one of the... Is, I think it's just one product of the year, and, and it's this one. Uh, it's called Creative Bridge. It's a super nice tool to creative and easy manage workflow, workflows, mostly in, in post-production and, and that, uh, that kind of environment. And we will go over how SFT is a problem solver for, 
for Princeton. So it's a, it's a nice webinar also. And notice that, that in this one, we are going to change the, the time. It's not going to, to be at uh, 9 EST or 3 CET. As Princeton is based mostly in, in US and is the most important uh, market for them. So we're going to make that at 7 p.m. Central European time, 1 p.m. Uh, East Coast time. Okay, and so today presenters, we are going to be myself and Oliver Cret, multimedia lead from, from Collabora. Hello, Olivier. Welcome to the this webinar. Hello. Glad to see you. And that's the, the first question, uh, Olivier, because you are one of the first uh, companies involved in the SRT Alliance, and I'd love to, to go over what is your vision as, uh, as a company, as, as Collabora. Collabra's vision is to bring open source software to the enterprise and to help all, all companies adopt open source software and be able to exploit it. To that end, since uh, 2005, we've been uh, helping all kinds of companies worldwide use open source software uh, through various domains. We have over 100 uh, employees, uh, mostly consultants, and we, uh, we help people in various technologies from multimedia technologies, video streaming, video encoding, recording, uh, but also all across the stack, the operating system kernel, uh, graphics drivers, and, and platform integration. Wow, that's that's uh, that's super cool. And yeah, well, I think that mostly everybody knows what it's open source. Uh, um, software but i'd like to to you know make like a brief introduction of what is open source and what are the benefits of open source to to the industry so open source first and foremost it's a software development methodology it's a way that different companies can collaborate on a complex software uh, one of the the big differences between open source and non-open source is that companies can collaborate in the open it means that you through uh, the use of a standardized licensing, companies don't have to have, people don't have to ask permission, right? Once you have this license approved, uh, then you can collaborate on any project out there that is uh, using this license. So it, it is much more simple, both from a company point of view, and it enables a collaboration to a level that could not be achieved before. For example, these days, even a company with uh, a skilled and with huge budget and huge capabilities like Microsoft is not capable of building a browser on their own, right? So think software has become so complex that not, 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 no, not one single company can build a, a complex system alone. We need to collaborate and open source is a methodology that enables that, enables the entire industries to go further. Yeah, that's, and, yeah, sorry. Yeah, and one last thing I was gonna mention is that the, um, the the open source is really a stand uh, the natural way to write software that that applies standards because the best the second best thing to having a, a document saying how the software should work to work together is to actually use the same software so that it, it naturally is standardized and what's the great thing with open source in srt so one of the great things with srt is that it I want to say it just works, right? Since everyone is using exactly the same implementation, uh, we have something that is really interoperable and, and, and really works. It's much easier than, than any other approach to uh, transfer media with lo low latency. Um, yeah, great. And concerning that low latency and, uh, and all, the, all the features, so you will involve in this uh, super use case with Skate. Telecom, what can you tell us about, about this? So, yes. So, this project is called Wang Seoul H8L. Uh, it's a platform for ultra low latency video transport. So, it's, it's itself an open source project that uh, we have developed in collaboration with SK Telecom. Uh, SK Telecom is uh, South Korea's largest wireless provider. And they wanted the platform to be able to enable very low latency uh, video streaming over their 5G network. Uh, the use case that we're targeting here is really uh, flying drones and, and driving robots, right? So we need a low latency because there is actually something mechanical at the other end of, the, of that video. And we have to actually remote control it. 
Uh, so this is what Wang Tsil was built for. Yeah, it looks absolutely and, awesome. And it's all built on SRT, I should mention, right? This is how we achieve the low latency. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because if, if a drone is, is driving in, in a facility, it's absolutely crucial. Yeah. Right. How, how does it work? This is the, the diagram? Yes. So the uh, system has multiple parts. Um, first, as we mentioned, Wang Xil means stork's nest. So the first part is the brook. It's called Geul. It runs on the camera, on the edge device, inside the drone or the robot. Uh, it captures the, the video from the, the hardware and then streams it over the network using SRT to the next component, which runs in the cloud. Uh, so this streaming is done over a 5G network. This little cloud is, is an actual cloud in the sky, right? We're talking uh, a video that actually goes over, over the air. Um, then uh, the next component is, is Wang Se, which is the stork itself. Uh, that's the uh, relay that runs in the servers and does two, two things. First, it's an M to M relay, so it can take multiple streams as, as input and I'll put the same stream to multiple people, but also send multiple streams at a timeout. Right? It's, a, it's a complete relay. And we use that to uh, stream the video both to the clients uh, and so the clients is, can be any application that actually supports SRT, such as something like VLC, right? Or, or an FFmpeg-based application. And it can also record the streams to a, a server storage so that they can be later retrieved. Yeah, it's great. And, and, and it's, in this project, so you, you leverage from both open source and, and SRT in, in everything, to everything. Okay, great. So this is the this is one of the robots. So this these robots are in real time driving through the facility. So yes, these are actually delivery robots that are uh, being deployed by a, a Korean company, one of the leading uh, delivery companies in, in Korea, and they use it to deliver things like meals and stuff. And these ones are currently being tested on the uh, the campus of a university of Kongkok University in Seoul, where uh, they're they're being used to deliver things. And the, um, the video feed that is used by the operator to, to, to make sure everything is right is sent over uh, Wang Seal, so over SRT. Wow, yeah, that's, uh, that's amazing. Okay, let's, uh, let's get over this video, so, yes. So uh, the next video is the actual flying drone. So what we can see here is that these drones like require low latency and they're streaming a 4G, 4K signal over 5G. Uh, so this is a, a live video stream, right? That, that has been recorded. Wow. Um, the operator is actually sitting somewhere else, right? And he's on his computer doing click, click. And these video are, are appearing. The uh, system has, um, these little maps where you can see exactly where you're aiming, where your drone is, and what it's aiming at, and you can see how far you're 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 seeing your video. And the goal of this system is to have security cameras that are flying. So, on a large site or a construction site or something, you may not want to have like hundreds of security cameras all over the place. So it's a bit like a security guard, but in the air, that is flying, mm -hmm. and you can use it to uh, capture images. And this wow. is all sent over 5G to get oh, this low latency. And it has been difficult to, to work with 5G networks or, you know, is the, the, the next great thing coming? So our experience with 5G networks is that they're just IP networks. It just works, right? From a, from a programmer's point of view, you don't know it's 5G. It it's just looks like a regular computer network. That's one of the big progress of recent uh, mobile telephony making it more simple for application developers. Great. OK, so thanks. That's, that's the, the use case. I think uh, it's, yeah, it's a nice way to, to use SRT and, and, and open source in an ad so. Great. Well, I think that's, that's all. Thank you so much, uh, Olivier, for your time. Thank you so much, uh, Collabora, for participating in this webinar. And uh, thank you so much, everybody, for attending this, this webinar today. Uh, I encourage you to, to join to the next one that it's going to, to happen in November 3rd. 
And so that's all. Have a nice SFT day and see you in the next SFT Tuesday webinar. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.